I thought I'd show you what our rupee notes have actually looked like since the very beginning. And this story begins way back in 1949. So here on India Today, I thought we leave the politics aside. Let's just see what the rupee has actually looked like since the beginning when they actually began. This is how the first rupee looked like in independent India. The King George was removed from here and was replaced with our very beautiful Ashoka pillar. The Ashoka pillar became a part of the rupee in 1949. Then let's go to the next. The next change in notes came in 1950. Here you saw many new additions enter the fray as far as our notes are concerned. You had that beautiful iconic ship image that came into some of the notes. You had elephants that came into some of these notes as well. You had tiger and you had certain other animals come into the notes that came in 1950. Then let's go to the next one. In 1953 you had once again uh, places of Indian interests like the gateway of India came into the picture. You had certain seals, you had certain temples that entered the rupee notes in 1953. After that was a very big slew of notes that came in and this is for the first time that the Mahatma Gandhi image entered and was issued prominently in our notes. The, both the picture of Gandhi's head on the one rupee notes as well as this iconic image of the seated Gandhi that came in on these notes. This was in 1969 and a lot was about to change in the country. In 1972, the next one was in 1972, cost benefit considerations pushed the Reserve Bank to reissue notes in the 20 and 50 denominations and they for the first time depicted India's beautiful Parliament House. So that's when the Parliament House became part of some of these notes. Then we move to 1975, a very familiar note. Many of us who were born in the 70s or 80s will remember this. This was a note that was issued with a picture depicting India's agricultural revolution and self-sufficiency in farming and food production that was in this wonderful image. Then in the 1980s, there was a marked departure from the earlier motifs that were used on rupee notes with the Reserve Bank of India issuing a slew of currency notes depicting India's science icons like Aryabhat, industrial progress in the form of oil rigs, farm mechanization, scientific progress in the form of satellites, indigenous art forms in the form of the Konarak temple wheel and many other such. Very, a lot of color suddenly came into our currency notes. Then in 1987, the new 500 rupee note introduced for the first time this very familiar enlarged image of Mahatma Gandhi with the riverside depicting the famous Gyara Murthy statue. The statue actually exists in Delhi of the famous Dandi March that became part of the 1987 500 rupee notes. Then in 1996 the Reserve Bank of India issued the new Mahatma Gandhi series and that's what this is. These notes featured new watermarks, security features and accessibility for the visually challenged. Some of the earlier motives including Parliament, the Himalayas, Indian wildlife and scientific progress made a comeback into some of these notes in pretty big strength. Then we move to 2005, the Gandhi series notes were reissued with even more security features and some changes in color including machine readable magnetic threads and a wide color shifting. Very importantly, the year of printing was introduced for the first time. For the first time, the year of printing was available in these 2005 notes. So that was a important. And finally, in 2011, well not finally, but 2011, India's new rupee symbol adorned the newly issued notes for the first time. India entered an exclusive club of countries, remember, with a unique symbol for its currency and therefore it was only justifiable that that rupee symbol became part of our notes. And finally, the last step in our currency's journey is 2016. Needs no introduction. This was after demonetization. The Reserve Bank of India issued several new notes that India currently uses even to this day. The Mahatma Gandhi series have on their reverse icons of India's history and culture including Ajanta El Lora Caves, the Sanchi Stupa, the Lal Kila and many more. When these will change, we don't know just yet. Is it time to introduce new images, motives and faces to our currency? What do you think? Comment on this video and tell me what you think.
and thanks very much for watching. We will continue to track the rise and fall of our currency no matter what faces are on them.